To all of you joining me for this video, I am Isprish and thank you for joining me. It's a very interesting topic here. Why is 0 factorial equal to 1 and can we use calculus to show why it is equal to 1? I'll show you all of that. Everything has to do with higher order derivatives of your natural log function. If f of x or y is equal to natural log x, you know the higher order derivatives are not hard. The original function is your zero order derivative, but your first order derivative is the derivative of that which is one or x. Your second order derivative, you can use a quotient rule or the power rule, but you know when you do this, you can get minus one or x squared. The third order derivative is not hard. You're doing the derivative of this power rule, quotient rule, but you know you get two over x cubed. The fourth order derivative, you take this onward, you get minus six over x to the four. But when you look at the pattern over here, look at the pattern of how things play out. There's a specific rule which develops. The nth order derivative for this natural log function is always equal to the following. It's always minus one to the power of n minus one times n minus one factorial divided by x to the power of n. That's your rule. If hypothetically I told you find me fifth order derivative, or the 10th or the 15th, you can keep playing it along, but you can play with this rule as well. Here, n is equal to five, you'll have minus one to the power of five minus one times five minus one factorial divided by x to the power of five, because here n is equal to five, you're doing the fifth order derivative, minus one to the power of four, which is an even number is a positive one. Here you'll have a four factorial, which is 24 over x to the five. So that would be the next step, the next order derivative. Anyhow, utilizing this specific template, we can start coming to answering that question over there. We know our original function y is equal to natural log x. We also know the first order derivative is equal to one or x. You can represent the first order derivative as dy over dx. Now look, you are looking at this, you are looking at this template. If I were to tell you, utilize this template right here where n is equal to one, what would you get? You're looking at y, the first order derivative, you're doing minus one to the power of one minus one because n is equal to one, you're running it through this template. It's like a rule template times one minus one factorial divided by x to the power of one. You clean this out, you have minus one to the power of zero, which is a one times a zero factorial over x, which you clean it out as a zero factorial over x. This is what I've established that this is equal to that, but I know this right here is also equal to this, it's also equal to this and you make them equal to each other, you'll have one over x is equal to zero factorial over x cross multiply, or you don't even have to cross and multiply, you can just read this right out. You know what the answer is. You're gonna get here an x is equal to x zero factorial, and then you take the x here, one is equal to zero factorial, and here it is, you've gotten your answer, y zero factorial equal to one, because it's the interplay of this template along with the derivative of this function right here, the natural log x, the first order giving you one or x. The only reason why it's being the higher order derivative is because it helps you establish this template. This template then comes into play where n is equal to one and it takes you all the way forward to answer that question, why zero factorial is equal to one? And I've shown you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.